Um, hello dear ones, it's, it's Alice. I am of the stars. Uh, something came up today regarding a group that corroborated my experiences for the last few years with another group, um, which partly glommed to this group today. And that has to do with uh, the leadership role, the, the bow tie, you remember the bow tie up above the head, eighth chakra, that's created by the leader of a group and that offers some, um, comes from the subconscious mind, the shadow personality of the leader right now because everything's clearing and, f and filters down into the subconscious minds of all the members of the group. Now this is not such a pleasant process because, uh, because right now the thing to do is to ungroup and to let groups go so that we can clear personally. As Daniela Breen says, souls ascend one by one, and there really is no other way to do it. When souls glom in, in groups, then what happens is the soul wounding of the leader ratchets back and forth to all the members of the group and causes acting out. And that's really something to look out for because it can turn into physical violence and all kinds of life-threatening things, not only for other people, but also for the members of the group. So whenever you feel that your energy is glomming to that of a group, whether or not you attend the group, the thing to do is to go off in the desert or high in the mountains or out by the ocean and unglom, right? No matter how long it takes. Meditate, walk, be serene, and unglom. <laughs> That's not too relevant. Well, it's good. So what I found out in this group today has to do with... Um, how quickly the soul wounding of the leader of a group can fractalize out into everyone in the group just instantaneously. They can be playing out the very skit that's the one sticking point of the leader of a spiritual group, for instance. And so if, for instance, the, the sticking point has to do with um, that mom said something bad about about the way that they, when they were very young, were feeling their sexual urge. If she had something negative to say at that very young age, as early as one or two, then that can result in massive soul wounding, unintentional but massive, and that can be instantaneously played out with all the members of a group. Another thing that can happen is that w that circumstance that happened in early, early youth for the leader that created that big samskara, that big soul wounding, uh, whatever it was, like suppose, suppose mom found a, a, a boy, a young, very young boy, feeling sexual and, and acting sexual whatever it was, and suddenly said something bad about it, then whenever that leader thinks about that situation, he can reflect that whole astral play into the beingness of every member of the group. And if, if a member of the group has some similar soul wounding or some thread of, of consonance with that dissonance, um, some small sticking point that's, that, that jars in the same way that the leader does, then that, um, then that member of the group, and in many cases many members of the group, will begin to act out the same scenario on the adult level that the ch childhood persona of the leader acted out. And called, it's what you might call astral story projection, you know? And, and interestingly enough, the leader may have no notion that he's doing this because he's doing it from a subconscious plane. And he may see his members in behaving in some way that involves hatred, for instance, of women, you know, or of other men, or, or of children. It could involve any kind of skit that, that happened before. And he doesn't understand why they've all suddenly, like, begun this, this violent acting out process, the truth of the matter is it's because 
he should look within and find what he needs to clear, you know, or she needs to clear. That's, that's the source of acting out in group members. The source is the leader. And if, if I'm a member of a group, the thing to do is to leave the group. Leave the group and go off in solitude and solve my own soul wounding. Then at that point it may be possible to be a loose knit member of a group. It's hard to say. Uh, I personally haven't arrived at that and I see more and more every day the many advantages of ungrouping. <laughs> so um, today what I saw was like uh, just like that. It was, uh, it was some soul wounding that the leader of a group had received many, many years past as a result of being restricted to societal expectations regarding sexuality. And, and then that had, um, that had moved off into a, a, a very large group of other people who before had, had not felt that way. Uh, but they began to feel that constriction of energy involving um, that societal like uh, negatory stricture, you know, and they began to act out against it too, suddenly as if it were their own. Uh, it's very interesting, very interesting, and I expect that fractal uh, dissemination of a positive fashion will take place in the same way. So this is just a preview of the good things that are going to be coming to New Earth, I feel. Yeah, definitely. Y'all take care.